Good evening. Um, tonight I'm going to take a look at um, Brasserie du Boc, I guess, uh, B-O-C-Q, that's a lot of consonants. Um, and it's a Saison uh, Belgian farmhouse ale, and it's unfiltered and it's also bottle conditioned, so it had a cage and cork. Um, i try to open it without making a mess. I did get cat hair on it. It seems inevitable. Um, okay. It's kind of a chuggy bottle, which is unfortunate because then it makes the it makes the beer foam up there again. I poured it down past the point where it would chug, and that helped. So uh, here's the beer. Um, uh, Saison, like I said, up. Uh, hmm, that's stinky. Woo! Um, skunky and funky. Um, pour half, swirl the bottle to suspend the yeast and pour the rest. Um, so we should, um, they want us to drink the yeast. It probably, wow, um, imparts flavor and mouthfeel. So hopefully I swirled enough into um, to change it. I didn't show you what it looked like before I poured, but it was clearer than this. Um, so, this is, um, six point four percent alcohol by volume. Um, I'm really surprised about how this smells. I mean, it really smells skunky. Which is almost, it's almost impossible to smell past that at this point. Um, all right, anyway, we'll give this a try. Um, so the only aroma I'm getting out of this really is this kind of skunkiness, kind of funkiness. Um, and it has a, a smell that I can, that I recall from somewhere, but I don't know, um, I can't think of what it is. Um, uh, Appearance-wise, it's a beautiful pale gold, um, definitely hazy, poured with a nice head. Looks like what's left is going to stick around. Um, It's so hazy, I can't necessarily see carbonation, although it looks pretty carbonated. This is probably going to be pretty sparkly. Interesting. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what I think about this. Um, it has that skunky, funky, danky taste to it. Um, now all I can taste is the watermelon candy I ate before I drank it, before I drank this. It has a very metallic taste to it, but like as an afterthought, it's almost like my lips have a metallic taste. This is an interesting beer, and I wonder if at this point it's too cold, because it was, first of all, it was in my refrigerator, and second of all, although, you know, this is why maybe, um, you're not supposed to have frozen glasses, frosted glasses. I did have this glass in the freezer, um, but I felt like having a bigger glass, not a pint glass, um, and uh, all my big glasses are in the freezer. Um, very carbonated.
contains water, barley, wheat, hops, yeast, coriander, orange peel, licorice. Um, interesting. I don't even know how I feel about this beer. Now I feel like I need to revisit it after it um, after it warms up a little bit. Maybe it's too cold and I'm just not getting any flavor out of it. But I feel like um, it's I feel like it's a weird beer. It's supposed to be a saison, so it should have like a a fruitiness, a spiciness to it. Um, A funkiness to it. Some people might even use, gosh, was it? Some people might even describe that funkiness as like a farm, no, a horse blanket, but I don't even think that that's the funkiness I'm getting. It's just like, well, maybe, almost herbal. Um, it's weird. I don't know. I don't hate it, because here I am, I've, you know, I mean, this is a big beer I poured myself, but, um, you know, I've, I've, drink a quarter. Perhaps mostly out of confusion. Um, I just don't even know. Um, okay, so this beer doesn't come across as a sour, which I have had, which I've encountered often recently. Oh, uh, uh, Saison Dupont, that's what we had recently, and we described it as a horse blanket uh, smell, I think it was uh, Maria who had said that. Um, uh, so, um, you know, so it's supposed to have that kind of funkiness to it, but this reminds me a lot of um, American IPAs, American hops, where they have that kind of danky herbal cannabis flavor to them. That's how this smells. Um, and now, now a couple minutes later, and, you know, it smells also of, like, herbal, and then the yeast I can smell. But this dankiness is just, um, really strong. Almost a, a sour smell, you know, like, um, um, not from a sour, and I have to be very careful about the use of that word now, I feel like, but not, it doesn't smell like a sour, but it has a sour smell to it, almost. Um, you know, like sour, something that's gone sour, sour sponges, uh, although that to me is horrible, I can't deal with that smell. Um, It has a nice, clean finish. I mean, it's just, like, to drink, if you don't smell it, it's a very good beer. It has hints of sweetness. It has hints of uh, citrus in it. Um, and if I think really hard on it, it might have a hint of uh, licorice to it. Um, you know, and we would expect all of those things, and a little spiciness, and a little kind of funkiness, and a little... Um, you know, definitely the carbonation, which is here, but, um, there's just something about this beer, um, that I, I can't place, um, that is just weird, and it's in the smell. Um, I'm gonna have to think about what that smell is. Anyway, so I'm gonna drink this, I'm gonna let it warm up, maybe in the comments I will amend what I've said in this video about it being weird and funky, but, um, you know, as soon as I opened it, I had this, this funky smell, um, skunky smell, and it made me think of, um, it made me think it was light struck, and that could be the case. Maybe it was light struck, and it, this just wasn't, um, you know, in a dark box in here, or it was in somebody's window or something. I don't know, um, but it has that quality, uh, to it, and it, and I feel like normally when that happens to a beer, it dissipates. Oh, fucking vegetable, excuse me. It smells like vegetable soup.
You know that smell of vegetable soup? Like Campbell's vegetable soup? Vegetal, almost. That's interesting because that's an off flavor as well. Um, it smells like vegetable soup. That's the flavor, or the, the, the aroma I'm thinking of. You know, so canned vegetable soup. And it doesn't have that flavor. No. No, it really doesn't have that flavor, but I can definitely smell that out of there. Um, it was shocking to me to even realize that that's what, what the smell was. I, I knew I had smelled it somewhere before, and it was a, a smell I was familiar with, probably a smell that I enjoy even, um, you know, because I've eaten many cans of, you know, Campbell's vegetable soup, um, um, you know, but I don't expect that smell in my beer. That's weird. It's off-putting. Okay. This is a long rambling video that doesn't tell you what I think about this beer, other than it's really weird. Anyway, all right, so I'll stop talking, and I hope that I, after it warms up a little bit, that I'll have something nicer to say about it, um, and I will put those comments uh, in the description in hopes that um, I didn't just totally hate on this beer that everybody else in the world likes, but I don't know. I feel like this bottle was probably light struck and I got that funkiness out of it and it also has funkiness just by virtue of being kind of a funky beer style um and the, the combination was just a little weird um doesn't mean I'm not going to drink it so it's not god awful it's just a little weird so um like I said 6.4 percent alcohol by volume um and uh a Belgian farmhouse ale so a Belgian style uh saison um from Brasserie du Boc. Book. There's a lot, like I said, of, there's a lot of, um, consonants. All right, there you have it. If this is a beer that you have had, please share with me. I would really like to hear your thoughts about it. Did you like it? Did you think it smelled funky? Did it need to warm up? Um, let me know those things. Cool. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.